In today's video, you will find out how to have your money last your lifetime, your kids' lifetime, your grandkids' lifetime, all while you're spending it each and every month. So stay tuned and check it out. Hi guys and welcome back. Just as I said in the intro, intro part of this video, we're gonna go over a Trinity study and we will check out what a Trinity study stands for. Basically a little bit about the Trinity study. It was made on a, obviously Trinity University in 1998 and it's also known in the you know world of investments as a safe withdrawal rate from your investments. Basically what it does is it, def it defines the rate that you can spend the money without running of the money. Of course, considering that the money is invested, not if it's if the money is in your savings accounts, in your banks, that that stuff is not going to work. Why? Because the investment rates like the, you know, return rates in the savement, uh, savings accounts are too small for this uh, to work. Trinity study actually specifies this specific investment portfolio uh, for it to work. It says that if you invested 50% of your money in stock market, in US stock market, and the other 50% of your money in bonds, you should be good to withdraw 4% of your money straight for 25 years. And at the end of those uh, of that time period, at the end of the 25 years, you should have same amount of money invested at the end of the 25 years. Meaning if you for example, if you're 60 years old right now or 50 years old and you saved up and invested a million dollars and you could start withdrawing 4% of the, of the of that million dollars each and every year uh, for 25 years straight. So meaning that you can uh, withdraw $40,000 each and every year, spend it as how you like it. And at the end of the 25 years, so when you'll be 75 years, you'll still have a million dollars in your investment account. Separated 50% in the stock market and 50% in bond market, in bonds. So it uh, it goes forward saying that if you, if you want to withdraw your money with the same rate of 4% for 35 years, it will work 90, 96% of time. So I know it's not a hundred percent, but those odds are still good, right? So if if you if the Trinity study was done over historical uh, historical market data and which included the World War One, World War Two, uh, what else? The recession, depression, and all of that stuff. You know, uh, big uh, uh, big catastrophic market uh, market events, well, big catastrophic events for markets. And it still says that 4% for 25 years, even considering those events, will work. But 35 years straight, there is a chance of 96% 96, 96 chance that it will work. But if you want to be on a safe side, 3%, which is also noted down and written down in a Trinity study, works 100% of times for whatever time period you want. So it's pretty decent uh, number, considering that you have enough money in a... You know that that you can live off your three percent yearly uh, withdrawal rate. So now, when we roughly know the idea and the point behind the entire Trinity study, let's use this rule to calculate how much money you need invested in spe specific portfolio, as stated in the study, uh, for you to last your lifetime. So, for example, if you would win a lottery right now, how much money would you need to put in a stock market and in bonds for so that you can withdraw three, four percent depends how old are you, and uh, so that you have that money from a lottery last you a lifetime, last for your kids, for your grandkids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and basically, this is also a good calculation that you guys can use when you want to find out when do you want to retire, right? So let's let, let's do this. Uh, but before we do this, uh, in order to do so, you got to click that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. Also, make sure to smash that bell button so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. If I didn't mention, also share our video. Share it, share it, share it. Anyway, in order to do so, we need to know your annual expenses. 
So how much money are you planning to spend each and every year? Uh, basically, that will be our annual withdrawal rate. OK, so let's do this. Let me just do this. And I'm going to bring my Epic Pen up and let's use this. So let's say that you are spending, I don't know, maybe $50,000 per year. OK, so if you're spending $50,000 each and every year, if that's more than enough, for you to live off for an entire year and enjoy your life how much money you need invested in stock market in bonds for trinity study have invested in stock stock market and bond to so you can safely withdraw fifty thousand dollars considering this that fifty thousand dollars needs to be four percent of your entire portfolio okay so we are withdrawing for which is actually 0 0.04, uh, 0 0.04. So if we divide $50,000 with 0 0.04, let me bring my cal calculator up and we will get 1.250,000, 1, $1,250,000. So basically, you need to have a million and a quarter of a million, one point one point twenty five million dollars divided fifty percent in the stock market, which is what six hundred six hundred twenty five thousands in stocks and the same amount in bonds. So that you can safely withdraw. 50 grand each and every year okay and if that's enough money for you that's absolutely fine so you you need to get you need to find a way how you can get up to million and million and two hundred fifty thousand dollars in your investment portfolio so that you can safely withdraw fifty thousand dollars each and every year but that's uh ver that that how the Trinity study get to that point is basically uh, a stock market over the course of over 100 years on average returned 7% per year and um, even including the big historical you know market uh, catastrophic events and even including 3% average inflation so that means that we are left with 4% of withdrawal rates uh, and that's basically it, guys. Uh, the Trinity study was done over the market conditions that already included some of the biggest catastrophic events, just like I said. Uh, and I think that it's pretty rock solid. But however, I'm saying it again. If you want to be on a safe side, try withdrawing 3%. Let's see what would happen if you withdraw 3%. So how much money would you need if you want to withdraw 3% of the money? Not 4 Because Trinity study works in 3%. Uh, when you withdraw 3%, it works in all cases, okay? So you're rock solid every, you're rock solid for your lifetime. Just let's see, but we need more money in our investment portfolio. So we need to divide $50,000 by 0 0.03. So in this case, you need 1.666.666 million dollars, okay? So almost half a million dollars more. But then if you have this amount and you're withdrawing $50,000 each and every year, you can be saved that your money will last uh, your lifetime and your kids lifetime lifetime and your grandkids lifetime. So basically that's it. That brings us to the end of this video. As uh, every YouTuber should do, I got to invite you to like the video, click that like button, click that subscribe button and smash that bell button. Again, I want to thank you very much for staying until the end of this video. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.